Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of neural networks. I'm Jazz, and with me is Francesca. So, Francesca, can you start by explaining what a neural network is in simple terms? Absolutely, Jazz. A neural network is a type of artificial intelligence that mimics the way the human brain works. Imagine it as a network of interconnected nodes, or neurons, that work together to process information and make decisions. Just like our brain cells, these artificial neurons learn from experience and improve over time. That sounds interesting. But how exactly do these neurons work together? Great question. Think of each neuron as a tiny decision maker. When you input data into the network, it passes through these neurons layer by layer. Each neuron processes the data and passes it on to the next layer. The final layer produces the output, which could be anything from recognizing an image to predicting stock prices. So, it's like a team of experts working together to solve a problem? Exactly. Each neuron contributes a small piece of the puzzle, and together they come up with a solution. For example, in image recognition, one neuron might focus on detecting edges, another on colors, and another on shapes. By combining their efforts, the network can identify what's in the image. Can you give us some real-world examples of where neural networks are used? Sure. Neural networks are used in many areas. One popular example is self-driving cars. These cars use neural networks to process data from sensors and cameras to understand their surroundings and make driving decisions. Another example is voice assistants like Siri and Alexa, which use neural networks to understand and respond to our voice commands. That makes sense. But what about more complex tasks, like language translation or generating art? For complex tasks, we use more advanced types of neural networks. For instance, Generative Adversarial Networks, GANs, can create realistic images by having two networks compete against each other. One generates images, and the other evaluates them. This competition helps the generator improve its output. Similarly, recurrent neural networks, ARNNs, are great for tasks involving sequences, like language translation, because they can remember previous inputs and use that context to make better predictions. That's fascinating. How do these networks handle real-time tasks, like predicting stock prices or detecting fraud? For real-time tasks, neural networks use a technique called predictive modeling. They analyze patterns in historical data to make predictions about future events. For example, in stock market prediction, the network looks at past stock prices and other relevant factors to forecast future prices. In fraud detection, it analyzes transaction patterns to identify suspicious activities. It sounds like neural networks are incredibly versatile. Are there any limitations we should be aware of? Yes, while neural networks are powerful, they do have limitations. They require a lot of data and computational power to train effectively. They can also be seen as black boxes, meaning it's hard to understand how they make specific decisions. Additionally, they need to be carefully designed and tuned for each specific task to perform well. Thanks for breaking that down, Francesca. Before we wrap up, can you tell us about any fun or unique applications of neural networks? Absolutely. One fun application is in creating art and music. Neural networks can generate new pieces of art or compose music by learning from existing works. Another interesting use is in personalized recommendations, like those you see on Netflix or Amazon, where the network suggests movies or products based on your past behavior. That's amazing. Neural networks really are everywhere. Thanks so much for explaining all of this, Francesca. I hope our viewers found this as enlightening as I did. My pleasure, Jazz. Neural networks are a fascinating field, and there's always more to learn. If anyone has more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech insights. See you next time.